guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you my WWE SummerSlam 2019 predictions video. I'm not alone however, I am bringing predictions with Zach. He's just not in the video, I'll be FaceTiming him and at the end of every little segment I do where I say the match and who I think is going to win, you'll see what Zach thinks. So, let's get straight into it with the Cruiserweight Championship match. I believe that Drew Gulak is retaining against Only Lorcan, don't get me wrong. Only Lorcan's fantastic. Have you seen how hard he hits? Uh, if those of you that aren't familiar on Only Lorcan, go and research him. He's great. However, Drew Gulak has only just got some custom side plates on the Cruiserweight Championship. So, I know it's a weird analogy, but that's just how I think it works. He's just got custom side plates. If they were going to take the championship off of him as soon as they want, like, as soon as this, they just wouldn't have made it, like, custom side plates for him. We've seen plenty of time people not have side plates on the championships and then lose it not too long later. Look at TJP, look at Brian Kendrick. It's happened with them, they didn't have custom side plates. Rich Swan was the first champion to have custom side plates and then he held it for a, for a good few months. So there we go, Drew Gulak to retain the Cruiserweight Championship. Zach, who are you picking? Drew Gulak, because he hasn't had it long enough. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Next up guys, we've got Goldberg versus Dolph Ziggler. Plain and simple, Goldberg is here to redeem his terrible match at Super Showdown against The Undertaker. A lot of people are saying Dolph Ziggler's going to win. Uh, if he does, it's via shenanigans. However, I am predicting Goldberg to come out, do a little squash match with Dolph Ziggler, how he would normally do it, same as Lesnar, spear, jackhammer, you name it. Uh, just going to do some little stuff just to prove, you know what, I can go out now. I've just destroyed someone. I'm not terrible. Uh, I can actually lift my opponent for the jackhammer. So there we go. Goldberg's going to win. Zach? What do you think? Oh, I feel like it's going to be a squash match or an upset match. So, uh, but I'm going to have to go with Goldberg because Dolph can't be Goldberg. Next up, guys, we have The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, taking on Finn Balor. It is not yet known whether Finn Balor will appear as the demon or not. As you guys remember, it wasn't announced last year. Finn turned up at SummerSlam as the demon. It was never announced he was going to be the demon, but he took on Corbin as the demon. How many times did I say demon then? Anyway, that could happen this year. Bray Wyatt versus Finn. I would prefer Finn to come out non-demon. Bray Wyatt absolutely destroy him. Finn take his leave of absence, which he's earned, come back as the demon and they have a proper match. Like come back in like four months or like something like that. Maybe come back at the Royal Rumble. Just completely miss the second half of this year. So Finn, he does have a well-deserved break. And then we can come back and build into a massive match. And that can be the top feud on Monday Night Raw. There we go. I think Bray Wyatt is uh, going to win this match. No matter what happens, whether it's Demon or not. But I think Finn Balor should go away for a bit. Take a holiday. He's earned it. Um, they're not using him on TV, so why not? But either way, Bray Wyatt's winning. Zach, what do you think? If it's Demon or Finn Balor, then it's going to be a great match. But The Fiend will still win because it's going to be his first match. Um, but if it's not... Demon Finn Balor, then it's just easily going to be the Fiend. Next up, we've got Kevin Owens versus Shane O'Mac. Now, Kevin Owens said if he loses, he will quit. And I can't actually remember. It's bad because like, SmackDown was not that long ago. It was literally like three days ago. But I can't remember if um, the stipulation works for Shane now as well. So if Shane loses, he quits. But either way, I think Kevin Owens is winning. This has got to be Shane's big comeuppance. I mean, since what, November last year when he called himself the best in the world and he won the trophy? That's how long Shane's been a main character on TV. And we're all sick of it. None of us want him on TV anymore. So Kevin's got to give him the beating of his lifetime. Do a whole Austin style beating. Stunners, power bombs, you name it. Just put him through tables. I don't care. Just make Shane McMahon want to leave. Kevin Owens is winning this match. Zach, do you agree? Owens is winning. They can't get rid of Owens. They can't get rid of Kevin right now. So Kevin's going to win. I feel like there'll be a few spots in the match where he could possibly nearly get disqualified to get the crowd heated. But, nah, yeah, Kevin's winning. Next up, we've got the United States Championship match between the newly heel AJ Styles taking on Ricochet. And yeah, these two, I don't feel like they're going to be playing hot potato with the championship. This is unpredictable to the point where they could play hot potato. They couldn't. So Ricochet obviously had the championship. Then AJ won it off of him. Then will they put it back on Ricochet? We're just going to have to see, aren't we? In my opinion, I think AJ Styles is retaining. Zach, do you agree or not? I, d I, I didn't know this match was happening. But... That is going to be a fucking great match, hopefully. And I've got to go with Ricochet picking that up. Really? Yeah. Okay. 
All right. Next up, we got Charlotte Flair versus Trish Stratus. I believe that Trish Stratus is losing. If this is her last match, it's wrestling tradition to put over your opponent. So there we go. Trish Stratus is going to lose to Charlotte Flair. I think it's going to be a great match. Obviously, Trish is fantastic in the ring still. She's proved that she can still work. However, Charlotte, in my opinion, is a better worker. She's the best woman I ever to be on the roster. So there we go. I think these two can have a fantastic match together. It should be great. But Charlotte Flair is winning. Zach? What do you think? Oh, no, this is the one my brother's excited for. Uh, I don't think Trisha's going to be picking it up because she's not coming back as a main star. She's kind of, she's called it like one more match. And if she beat Charlotte, it, the feud wouldn't be complete, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I'm going to go with Charlotte picking up the win there. Next up, we've got the SmackDown Women's Championship match between Bayley and Ember Moon. And oh my God, do I want Ember Moon to win. I've been a big Ember Moon supporter since the very beginning. Since she even came up to the main roster, I've said... Give this woman a championship. I mean, Ember Moon deserves it. She's been dealing with shit, really, for the last year and a bit since she's been on the main roster. She hasn't had a good opportunity, and she's fantastic. Her finisher alone is main event worthy. The Eclipse is fantastic. Like, it looks amazing. So, I think that Ember Moon should beat Bailey, and I think it should be clean. And then we can obviously, these two can feud again. Obviously, Bailey hasn't had that much of a long title run. She won it in May at Money in the Bank, cashing in the Money in the Bank briefcase. But considering she did actually have the briefcase and the championship in the same night, also, Bailey's been a uh, WWE Women's Tag Team Champion this year. You can't say that they haven't used her. Bailey has been given every single achievement she can have except the Raw Women's Championship. So I think it's a perfect time for Bailey to drop the championship to a new up and coming Ember Moon. Zach, what do you think? Oh, I'd love for Ember to have a title reign. I'd absolutely love that. Um, but I just don't think. I mean, they've done a few spots backstage with Ember, but they haven't done enough for her for me to be the champ. So I think that Bailey will retain. Next up, we got the Royal Women's Championship. Probably, in my opinion, the worst match on the show. Uh, once again, for some reason, Becky's just been getting opponents that no one cares about. First Lacey Evans, now we got Natalia. Nothing against Natalia, I like her, but I just don't think she should be fighting for the Raw Women's Championship. And if the reason is because it's in Canada, then that sucks. Give us something good. Um, so, oh wow, I sounded really bratty there, didn't I? Um, but anyway, Becky versus Natalia, it's a submission match. Um, they could genuinely use the excuse of Natalia's in her hometown, so she's going to win the championship. But if they do that, I'm not going to be particularly happy, if I'm honest. Uh, it's just a poor reason to put the belt on someone just because you're where they're, like, you're where they're from. Considering Natalia hasn't actually, like, earned it, if that makes sense. I really don't mean that in a disrespectful way. It's just not that she hasn't earned it in real life. I mean, on TV, she did what? Won one match? There's been no big storyline build to this match. All it is, is I won a match. I can't even remember if it was a battle royal, if it was a triple threat. I can't remember what the match was. But Natalia won the match. Becky said, yeah, we're not friends. I'm going to beat you. Now they're not friends anymore and they want to see whose submission moves better. It's the same old storybook fucking storytelling. It's the same stuff that they've been doing for years and years and years and years. I don't care about this match, if I'm honest. Some of you may, and I've got no issue with that whatsoever, but Becky Lynch is retaining. Zach, do you agree or not? Kind of similar to what I just said about the Bailey versus Ember match. I'd love for Natalia to pick that up. Why? Because she hasn't had a title in ages. Okay. That's, that's simply it. That's, that is it. Not because of like her talent or anything, but just because she hasn't had one in ages. Fair um, enough. And Becky's been kind of... It's kind of been running to the ground now. With her reign, I'm not going to lie. Um, so yeah, I'd like for Natalia to win, but I think Becky will retain. Next up, we've got the final two main event matches of this very long SummerSlam card. The WWE Championship match between Kofi Kingston and the Viper, Randy Orton. Kofi Mania is still running wild. We're at SummerSlam now, which is the midway point. It's been going for over a hundred and something days, which is awesome. I've said in previous predictions videos, those of you guys that have watched all my pe previous pay-per-view videos, I think SummerSlam's the time they're going to pull the trigger on the Kofi run ending. Uh, if I'm honest with you, they put Randy Orton there. Don't get me wrong. I know a lot of you guys are a lot of younger viewers, which means you would have never seen this feud in the first place. Probably not some of you. But back in 2009, when I was a first fan, 
This feud, oh my God, it was one of the first feuds I ever saw and it was amazing, I loved it. So people like me are really into this feud because we haven't seen Randy and Kofi feud in 10 years and it's back, it feels like my childhood's back. Um, they didn't used to feud over a championship, they just had a feud, uh, but now they are and I realistically think that Randy Orton is gonna be taking the championship off of Kofi Kingston. Either way, I'm not too bothered. Uh, Kofi's had a pretty decent run, if you look at it. I'm happy with his championship run, he should definitely be happy with his championship run, but I feel if they don't pull it off at SummerSlam, they'll pull it off at Survivor Series. I can't see Kofi holding that championship at the Royal Rumble next year, can you? No, he has to be in that match to do his Kofi spot. So, yeah, any time. The countdown's literally is ticking. The countdown clock's about to expire. I think Randy Orton is beating Kofi for the championship. Zach, what do you think, mate? Oh, my God. Oh, I really don't know about this match. I really don't know because I feel like it's time for Orton to have another reign. Mm-hmm. Um... Because it'd just be sick, but no one wants the Kofi reign to end. No one does. Um, well, no one in the right state of mind does, anyway. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with Orton picking up the win there. Okay. All right. And next up, we have the main event, the Universal Championship match between my boy, Seth freaking Rollins. Everyone's turning on him. Nope, I'm not going to turn on him. I still love Seth. I think he might need a heel turn to shake things up a bit because his character's got really cringy all of a sudden. But I still love Seth Rollins. But will Seth beat Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship? My answer to you guys, absolutely not. Brock is going to destroy him. Have you seen Seth? He's bollocks. His ribs are dead. He's been destroyed on Raw last week. He was overselling to hell, limping to the ring. Like, he's got no hope whatsoever. If you guys think Seth's going to beat Brock, you're wrong. I'm sorry. This is going to be a squash match. I, I really don't see it going longer than five minutes. I think Brock is literally going to F5, 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 German, 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 pin, one, two, three, bye. Lights out, that's it. I genuinely think Seth Rollins has zero chance of winning this Sunday. And as that sucks to be a Seth Rollins fan like I am, it's true. I mean, I don't see Seth winning. I genuinely see Brock destroying him. But yeah, Zach, how do you think it's going to pan out? It's kind of the same as what I said between the Goldberg and Dolph match. It's either going to be a squash match or it might actually be a good match. Because mm. Seth can work anyone, but it's Brock in it, so... Um, it'd be pointless for them to just give it to Brock and then have him lose it. But I agree. Like, but I'd say I, I want Seth to win, so I'm going to go with Seth's going to win. Really? Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Well, interesting. But anyways, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. SummerSlam this weekend is a very long show. So for us in the UK, it's going to be from 10 p.m., including pre-show, all the way till 4 in the morning, which is going to suck. But yeah, for those of you that haven't seen my TakeOver predictions, first off, go watch it. But secondly... This not just going to be me and Zach this weekend. We've got Zach's little brother Luke joining us as well, which is going to be totally awesome. So yeah, SummerSlam, long card. Let me know your predictions down below. Who do you think's winning what matches? I do hope you once again enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.